Christ, where is he? Is it a BMW badge? Nice. It is! Yeah. It's showtime. <laughs> So here we go, the R19 Racer, shaft drive at the rear, LED indicators all around, massive engine, and we are about to mount her and get used to her, get used to this type of motorcycle. So front brake on, the 1200cc, it's quite interesting how it's very low to the floor. So you've got like this low centre of gravity, which is quite interesting, so side stand uh, side stand up and make sure when it comes to a side stand that you can find it again uh, that's the trick can you easily find a side stand on an R19 racer uh, oh no that's the gear shifter ah ok that's quite interesting oh you can then slip her into gear by accident Right, so because of the positioning of the of the side stand, you've actually got to position your foot, the base of your foot, and then push the side stand forward. But sometimes you can accidentally kind of hit the uh, the gearbox if you're not used to this motorcycle. Oh, gosh, she rocks about, but. I was worried that the type of rocking that this does would be nasty but you certainly get a lot of vibrations as well which is quite interesting but the switch gear feels oh <laughs> get it back into gear and then find the gear which is very smooth very smooth, very smooth gearbox. I mean, we're talking very smooth here at Luke Rides. And let the clutch out, and there is a lot of torque. And then brakes, brakes, brakes. A lot of torque. A lot of torque that you don't really need to kind of do anything. You just kind of, you feel very safe. The rear brake is certainly powerful, you can feel it. I actually feel how powerful the uh, the rear brake is. It's very powerful, very powerful indeed. Because of that low center of gravity, you do feel pretty um, pretty planted. And then you've got those huge, ginormous Brembo's, which are, uh, yeah. And then you've got a huge, powerful rear brake. ABS is standard as well, so you've got anti-locking brakes and emergencies, which is... <laughs> it's kind of interesting how you rev her and yet you feel the, the cylinders going back and forth but she feels so super stable it's quite an experience just to well just to be here just to be here on a R19 racer and the gearbox is absolutely very slick but it's very smooth so it's kind of weird that you don't get um, you don't get much of a feel from the gearbox because it's so German, it's so well engineered that you kind of what you do get is a really smooth gearbox. <laughs> Whoa! 
Wah! And then you get neutral, and then you got your speedo. It's kind of neat. So you got speedo. Oh, really smooth power. Woo! Very smooth power delivery. Very smooth power delivery. It's very different. It's very different from the sort of super bike riding and super nakeds that you'd be used to, to riding on something like this. It's very different. And then you get the feedback from that massive 1200cc engine. But the cylinders being out in front is actually not really annoying either. Let's see the overall torque. Wow, that's a second gear roll on. Like second gear roll on. Which is really neat. Oh, and then the instant power and torque. And she feels really nice, like really stable. And the gearing is just, wow. It's just, it's just pretty. Oh. I think, oh right, but you do get quite a bit of engine braking, which is weird. You do get a lot of engine braking, which is, uh, which is interesting. Luke Rides was, oh, <laughs> the gearbox is a bit funny though. Oh no, I don't want that gear. She's like, oh, I'll give you a gear when I want to. <laughs> She's literally refusing to give Luke Rides neutral eventually. But it feels like quite a nice cockpit to be in. And uh, you've got that, oh, that feel. Oh, when the gearbox wants to. It does eventually, it does. It does eventually go into gear. Oh, it's so, so nice. It's just so, so beautiful. It just feels nice being here. Oh, into the corner. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Bang. Nice. Oh, but the gearbox is a bit, oh. The gearbox is a bit jerky, which is quite interesting. Maybe it's down to the engine oil. It can be down to the engine oil, but it's kind of the, uh, the gear changes are not the smoothest, not the smoothest gear changes Luke Ride's ever experienced on a motorcycle. But then it's not supposed to be, is it? It's just not supposed to be. And then you just kind of cruise on this massive great big 1200. And then you've got the instrument cluster. I mean, the switches are all easy to get to as well. Um, this is 110 horsepower with over 100 new meters of torque. In the real world, that's a lot of power. Uh, what's nice is you also get a gear indicator on the right hand side. You get a gear indicator, which is quite interesting. You also have trip info with a trip info button on the left hand side of the stalk that you can play with. And also you have even more computer assistance on the left hand side, which is quite interesting. And it's just quite interesting. There's lots of power here, so we can really open her up and start going fast. There's no, there's no super naked or anything like that. I mean, I just accelerated, Luke Christ has accelerated from, you know, six gear, which is the longest gear, so it's not going to be like instant. Uh, but Luke Rides, you can still feel there's plenty of power there when you want it. It's not terrible at all. Uh, 8,000 RPM is its total uh, 8,000. Apparently, its speedo registers at 140 miles an hour, but the likelihood that you're going to do that is pretty bloody small. <laughs> um, and let's see, Tavistock. Well, we have no idea where we're going. We just know that we are riding. Mirrors are very good. Oh, plenty of overtaking power. You just accelerate. Woo! Oh, the balance is quite beautiful. Even Luke Wright has got to say, she's beautifully balanced. You just feel very, you feel very stable. You feel very, very taut on the R19 racer. You feel like you're riding something very refined and very powerful. But you do have to give it some beans sometimes because it's, 11, it's only 11, uh, uh, 110 horsepower and it's running its cap. So there is a bit of restriction in the exhaust that you can feel that is holding sort of this 1100, 1200cc back, which is quite interesting. The white is very pretty as well. The white is very pretty. And uh, she feels great. She feels really well balanced on the corners. And she just feels naughty. But you got that heart, that heart back to how motorcycles used to be. A heart back to how they used to be. And that is what it's about. We all have our fast motorcycles. We've got super bikes, super naked, 
you know, we've got the beasties, we've got the absolute insanity, and sometimes it's nice to be able to just peg back and go, do you know what? You're just gonna ride and just gonna take it easy. But when you wanna go fast. Ah, it looks so cool. It has so much torque. It's forgiving. Gear check. Get off. Oh, yeah. oh, Big Cry's literally made his decision. He doesn't need to ride anymore. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. comic. It is fucking comic. It's great. It's just brilliant. It is a fucking brilliant motorcycle. It's so well balanced as well. It's just, it's just beautiful. And look at all that talk. You don't even need to do anything. R19 Racer here at Luke Ride. We have shaft drive along the part of the engine that you're going to see so you have shaft drive which means no chains i have to look after and maintain really good really powerful bmw rear brake set on the rear really powerful brembo up front the biting power is bloody instant the biting power is like whack 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 really good beautiful engine casing there's massive cylinders going up and down that air scoop it goes that way. The Heritage BMW Motorsport colours of the 70s and the 80s in just great condition. Even BMW are so, so proud of their history that even the headlight has a little BMW symbol in it. <laughs> wow, it just looks so good. And it rides beautifully. The seat looks posh classy fucking millionaire would ride something like this tank protector in a lovely silver gold silver uh, metallic good really competent front, front forks reversed massive Brembo discs up front beautifully designed factory mirrors with that shape and aerodynamic the pew high performance high tech screen and the bar risers that make it just a comfortable, fast motorcycle when you want it to be. And then just a cruiser when you ask it to be. It is a motorcycle that does so many things right. And does so many things as a motorcycle. It is really impressive. And the silver frame as well. So you've got silver frame. That accent against the shaft drive. No slipper clutch on this model. So you've got to be aware of that. But antelope brakes up front. And that classic, classic BMW design. And everything looks really straightforward. Air, air filter, spark plugs, and a simple oil drop. And away you go. It is a beautiful place to be. Beautiful place to be. Hello, bikers! Hello, bikers! Hello, bikers! Hello there! Hello, hello there! Hello there. <laughs> That's the super naked over there. Wow. It is just a nice place to be. This beautiful animation on the dashboard of the, the literally the dials and going up and down. It is just it is just beautiful. We've got various trip computers so you can actually set you can actually look at the miles that you've covered from when you last refueled her. Even that feels nice. Engine temperature, <laughs> which is something that you would even find on the ZX10 Superbike. Engine temperature for performance. The time. Enter setup. And the mileage. But not only that, oh no, no, everyone, you've got even more computer systems here on a BMW R90 racer. 
date. <laughs> Miles per gallon, if that means anything to you, which it won't, because it's a racer. You don't buy a racer for fuel economy. Speed, voltage to the battery, and RD time, and date. Oh, you get a little vibration. Yeah, baby, yeah! Oh, yeah, baby! And the side stand feels very solid on the R19 racer. Hear that? Single sided swing arm. Bop, 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 bop. It's a beautiful, beautiful noise. And one that you want to hear on a R19 racer. It's easy to move around as well because the, again the 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 center of gravity is low and the engines low down, which is really interesting. There is a lot to like about this very different but classic motorcycle, and even Luke Crides will say here and right now that you should have an R19 racer. Okay, Luke Christ hasn't even bought it. Hasn't even bought an R19 racing. Already he wants it. Already. Luke Christ wants to bring this baby home. It is fucking brilliant to ride. Whoa. It feels it feels unique. It feels rougher and tougher than a modern motorcycle. It feels naughty. It feels different. It will be a pain to clean though. Because you do have a lot of, because you do have a lot of crevices, you've got a lot of angles, especially around the engine and the cylinders, and then you've got all this exposed frame, exposed shaft drive, and then exposed, uh, exposed rear shock absorber, exposed oil cooler, everything's a little exposed, so it will be a b bugger to try and keep clean. But then you factor that in before you buy something like this. That That is something that you just have to do. So it's okay. What a motorcycle. It is worth riding. It is beautiful on the road. It is epic. Although accelerating, you do get kind of a jerky gear change. But maybe that's down to just how the shaft drive is. Even steering dampener that is seeing at the bottom of the forks in that area here, which is quite interesting, where the light, the Brembos and the lines feed through. Wow, look at that air intake! It's so cool, silver metallic cylinder heads. It's so cool. And then removing that bloody awful cat and giving it a lovely full acroprovic. Oh, that's going to transform this baby. It's going to transform this baby. What a motorcycle. It is. It even is an experience just to turn it on. <laughs> Fuel economy. I, Luke Rice suspects you will get over 100 miles on the tank. And for Luke Rice to ensure this R19 racer... Uh, he is looking at £50 because he's actually changing it over from the Luke Christ Ducati Super Naked and only £50 in order to ensure this absolute animal with 1200cc's over 110 horsepower and the heritage colours. Absolutely brilliant. And Luke Christ suspects you probably will get over 100 miles on a full tank. But there is no fuel gauge on this model. This model never had a fuel gauge. It was never given a fuel gauge by BMW. But it was given a gear indicator. Which is quite useful. Built in. And it's easy and clear to read. Even little things like the gauze here. Oh, look at that gauzy. And black as well. Because this is the racer. Massive Brando's up front. Huge forks. LED indicators, spoked wheels, because it's classic. There's a lot to like here. There is a lot to like 
on this BMW Heritage motorcycle. It's fucking brilliant. Surprise, final conclusion. There is nothing wrong that this BMW R19 racer is doing. But what it is doing, it's giving as the rider As the rider is giving the rider a lot of fun, a lot of motorcycle, and made by BMW. That in itself is a lot of fun and is a huge seal of approval. How brilliant is that? Here at Luke Rides, if you can afford and have a classic R19 racer, get yourselves on one everyone. And you should own a BMW R19 racer here at Luke Rides with Luke Rides thumbs up and seal of approval. Yes! Our viewers here at Luke Rides, because of that massive 1200cc engine, you can even see here at Luke Rides that Luke Rides doesn't even need to change down a gear. He's in fourth gear at less than 30 miles an hour, just coasting on the sheer torque and the horsepower of this 12 of this 1200 1200 cc bmw engine and war boxer twin and it feels so smooth and so nice it just feels nice and smooth and nice it just feels really nice just, just coasting here and then and then a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a ho 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 when you want to yeah baby yeah and then Gear changes as you change down the gear are epically smooth, they're absolutely beautiful, super smooth. The only jerkiness is just when it comes to uh, acceleration or not. No, no, it quite sort of get that way. Ah, it's that way. Yeah, ah, doesn't know the area. Oh, I see, change gear, she's a little bit jerky, a ah. little bit jerky. Hello, dude! Yeah, I don't know the area! <laughs> so, Tesco, so I don't know the area because I don't know these roads. I'm like figuring them out. Like, whoa, where's this go? Where's this bloody road go? Yeah, thank you, dude. Catch you later. See, even, uh, and even a lot of people are like, yeah, really cool motorcycle. It's really nice. Oh. Oh, there's just the gear changes are so epically great. It's a beautiful place to be. Down here at Luke Rides. The uh, gear changes, here's an example. So we're in fifth gear. And there's a little bit of a like a, well, a little bit of a like wobble, say. But it depends how quickly you release the clutch and how quickly you change gear. You can smooth it out, which is quite, quite interesting. But it depends on what you're into, really. It daily does. It depends on what you're into. But that was quite an interesting experience. And once you get used to the gear changes, it's nothing really. You don't notice it. You get used to the shaft drive way of it changing gear. You just get used to how it does it. It's quite interesting though. It's very good. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful to ride. And then you can just coast like this. Just coast. And then you can do. And then you can do that. When you want to. It is so bloody brilliant that when you want to. Acceleration. Very nice. And then a bit of the Brembo's. It's great. It's really good, and that's in a high gear. Brilliant, here at Luke Rides. Huge, huge slope here at Luke Rides, and the R19 racer just decimates it, thanks to that massive 1200 cc's. Just, just decimates it, just decimates it, man. Like it's not even there. Oh, look, it's not even there. I think I'm going to put it where I left it. 
and that is the experience of an R19 racer although this one does have the very expensive and optional heli bars which are uh, well uh it's a size stand gun that's the that's the only kind of the only weirdness about the R19 racers actually a size stand it's just it's kind of weird it's just positioning where you've got to kind of get your foot Okay, foot over it. Ah, hello, Richard. Well, Luke rides was really. Luke rides has never ridden a cafe racer. Never has in all of his years of motorcycling and all his, his different experiences. Oh my God, Luke rides was just a simple bike. <laughs> Meaning green. Um, but Luke rides in all of his years has never experienced what it is like to ride a cafe racer. But the BMW R19 racer showed Luke rides that there is a lot of fun to be had with simple 1200cc air-cooled engine and a motorcycle that just harps back to the days of how motorcycles used to be where they weren't so computerised. They were made by smaller factories, by skilled men and skilled workers. They weren't made by computer systems. Uh, and having the, all that torque and all that power and that standard with the Calais Convert with CAT. So that was an eye opener and Luke Rides was so blown away and so loved the R19 racer so much that Luke Rides is going to be bringing an R19 racer home here on the channel and what a test ride thank you to BMW uh, Ocean Plymouth uh, for the the privilege and the kindness of letting Luke Rides take out the R19 racer to get a feel with it and be absolutely sure about his decision and what a great service really friendly easy to understand really looked after Luke Rides made sure Luke Rides had coffee make sure he had a fuel brilliant really amazing test ride and bmw are just really good at looking after their clients bmw motorrad uh, it shows with just this experience here today what a test ride at the r19 racer luke rides hopes that you gained an insight as well what well, is a limited production run no longer built anymore cafe racer made by a prestigious a prestigious high performance a prestigious top brand like bmw and that's the s1000 double r a superbike next to the zx10 superbike you can would you that is the bestest combination you could ever hope for that is sexy as fuck that is absolute sex that is exotica those two right there ready to destroy the road and to destroy everything in front of it so we're going to hit the road now at Luke Rides. We're going to get back to base and thank you for watching the test ride of this epic cafe racer motorcycle made by BMW. Hi, DJ. The way we... The little rascal has spirit. Has water. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. And then the neutral, and then engine off. <laughs> 